Hello student. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, two problems which are typical cases in the isometric projection. Uh, we are uh, referring to the VTU primer in which they are mentioned problem number 49 and 50 in the isometric projection. So, as we proceed, once we read the question, there is a square prism of side 40 and height 70 and it is having a full depth coaxial square hole of base side 20. The full depth means the height of the prism is 70. So the hole depth will be of 70. So the square prism size is 40. The hole size is 20. Such that the edges of the both the squares are parallel to each other. Okay. So as already we have discussed, dropping a square prism in many of our previous videos it is very simple and how we can proceed we'll see and similarly we have one more problem where there is a rectangular slab which is of 100 by 80 and which is having a thickness of 30 and it is having a full depth coaxial square hole there is a rectangle inside which there is a square hole okay uh, which is of side 40 40 means it's a full depth means the depth of the hole will be of a 30 millimeter. So whenever we, they say full depth means you need to see the, the thickness okay, or the height of the prism. So here height is 70 and here the height you can say it is of a 30. And again here one of the edges are running parallel to both the solids. So how to go with the, both the problems will be one by one. Uh, to proceed with the problem, so we will take up one a line as usual a, a thin line will drop one horizontal line and we'll click anywhere and we need a, a square prism of 40 so we'll go with the 40 and then 30 and again 40 150 and then 40 and minus 150 and then again 40 minus 30 okay so we got now the height of this one is 70, so we'll take it from the corner. Anyhow, it's a prism, so we'll take the height from the corner of that one. And remember, if it is a, a crust room, we'll take the height from the, the center of the solid. So we'll copy and uh, move here. We need a original one, so we'll keep it here. And we'll do the same thing to the corner line, where we'll copy this line the four corners anyhow anyway, this will not be visible to us so for a time being you can just keep it here okay so now here for a simplicity what we do not visible it is also not visible. this is also not visible so this is how exactly a prism looks like and now here we have a, a square wall which is of 20 so we have a square of 40 we will go to a scale command where we will keep it copy on we need a 20 square and we have a 40 square. So now you can just bring here and we can keep it exactly at the center by using the alignment indicator. Okay. So now the top face of the wall is visible. Now the full depth means we can do one thing. We can copy any one line. So the same length will be copy on and we'll take it from here and we can move to the each corners right. so then the same square we can copy to the bottom okay. so this is our exit now the things which are visible to us are this face the top both the faces will be visible and the edges of the outer edges of the square prism will be visible so we'll make uh, the visible lines dark first so these many are visible anyhow this will run inside the solid not visible this will run inside the cylinder again not visible and again when it comes to the bottom face uh, not visible okay so there is one more line so this line okay is visible till the intersection of this edge okay so what we can do here is we can go to the trim option and we can trim this part okay 
So now this line is visible for us. Means that is the inside edge of the ore. Okay, this is the one which makes a difference with respect to the square ore. Okay, and here again there is a question like here again there there is a one more edge, but that's a solid. That's not a transparent one. Okay, or not a hollow one. So whenever we have a hollow that is a ore, so the inside edge of that one will be visible. Okay, that is the one major difference in this problem. So now select the solid. Go to the scale command. Copy of uh, 0.8164 scale factor. Okay. Now go to the angle between. This and this will be okay. So that's how exactly we can do the the prism with the ore. And if you look for the same here, we'll keep it aside. Okay. Now, when it comes to this problem, again we'll have a horizontal line, and we'll start from any one point, and it's a rectangle now. So we'll say like 100. We'll take it to this side. 100 by 30. Then, then next will be 80 by 150. And again 100 by minus 150. Then again 80 by minus 30. Okay. So now the height of this one is of 30. We'll take from corner because it's a flat. And uh, we'll copy the same rectangle here. Load a move command, copy on, I mean one of the corner will move to the top. And again, same this line will copy and we'll move to the line. Anyhow, this will not be visible for us. So for a time, we'll delete these lines. So to locate the center of the uh, rectangle, normally we can have the diagonal also. The easiest one is connect and midpoint to the midpoint. So midpoint of this line will be the center of the rectangle. So now here we have a square hole of 40. Okay, let's say we'll drop it aside. So there is a square hole of 40, 40, 30, then 40, then 150, then again 40, minus 150, again 40, minus Okay. So now there is a hole. Hole means it comes down. Okay. So that's a full depth hole is it's a 30 and minus 90. Okay. So we'll copy this line to each of the corner. And the same square is at the bottom. Okay. So now what we'll do now, we'll look at the center of the top face. Okay. So now select the hole and here very important is you need to select the top face, center of the top face and the top face should be kept at the mid of this line. Okay. So now once this one is done, now we can see here. The reference line will delete here. You know, this center will delete now. This line not visible, this line not visible, and this line not visible, and here this line not visible, and even this line will not be visible. And here, when it comes to this one, the top face of the square along with this line will be visible for us, and a part of these lines will be visible. Trim this part. Okay, so these two lines and along with this rectangle will be visible for us. Okay, so this is how exactly it looks. That means the edge of this one will not run to the end of this one as we discussed here okay so it is of only a 30 so for that one we need to have a 30 line then copy the same square and move it down trim accordingly 
okay when this one is done you can just select everything go to the scale command 0.8164 enter then angle between this line and this line this line and this line is of a okay so this is our example you can see the, the difference with respect to this okay. so as well as this one so here also in depth for actual work but again here it's a, both are square but here one is a rectangle and one is a square wall so you need to see the depth okay you can just drop it separately and accordingly locate the centers and move it so here it's a wall so the top face of the both the solid should match each other okay the center of the, both the faces should match each other okay so you need to see when you are keeping one above the other then the top face of the bottom solid and bottom face of the top solid should match each other so those things you need to see it prop okay whenever we have uh, the combination of two solids see it properly two solids locate the uh, write down the dimensions and uh, write down so how exactly they are placed so in that way easily you can do the things okay. so thank you